Tonight, Neighborhood Eats takes us to a restaurant that you can only get to by boat, bike, or on foot. And once you're there, you feel a world away. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg is here with the story. Lauren. And today, we are heading to Fire Island. Maybe not a great day to head to Fire Island, no. but when it's nice, it is a gorgeous place to be. And of course, the seafood is divine. The clams that we're featuring come from the Kismet Inn at the Great South Bay. And the recipe for these clams is 40 years old. Kismet Inn is located at the beginning of the dock in Kismet on Fire Island. It's great, we're going on vacation. The ferry ride over is absolutely beautiful, especially when it's a nice day. The kids love it, we sit up top. What's not to love? Climb on board the Voyager or one of the other ferries that cross the Great South Bay and head to Fire Island. A pleasant breeze, pretty sights, and in minutes you're there in Kismet, an area first settled in 1925. Kismet means fate, and fate would have it that Larry Cole started working at the Kismet Inn in 1958. It hasn't changed that much. We still have a family clientele, many return customers, and uh, generations of customers by now. Larry met his wife Joyce here, and in 1975 they bought the place. You can still only get here by boat, bike, or foot. The seafood is from local waters, and many of the recipes are decades old, like the one for stuffed clams. The area's champion shucker, Stephen Quillis, is also the cook. He starts by sauteing onions in oil, butter, garlic, and oregano. Then in goes the clam juice. Right now I'm just going to cook until it comes to a simmer, and then I'm going to go ahead and add the clams. Once the chopped clams go in, the mixture is emptied into a bowl and mixed with breadcrumbs. It's cooled and later scooped into empty clam shells, and it's into the broiler. They come out piping hot like a summer day. I love the family atmosphere that it has, and when you look around at the walls with all of the photographs and the fish, and everything has a history that goes with it. Walk as far as we can walk and then wind our way back here for lunch and then spend some time on the beach. Not a bad way to spend a day. No, <laughs> you should join us. <laughs> I think I should join them too. <laughs> but alas, the ferry's leaving and I've got to kiss Kismet. It's surf, sand, and tranquility. Goodbye. So sad. And yeah. if you'd like the recipe for the Kismet Inn stuffed clams, log on to our website at 7online.com. But you could see it was a gorgeous day when we mm -hmm. went mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. week. It was about 90 degrees. Uh -huh. Not um, like today. No, no, a little <laughs> different clams. from today. No clams. It's, it's well, a far ride for the clams and to clams come from don't Kismet. Travel. Don't travel that it's, far. It's okay. a good thing for you to know, too. Don't travel with clams. <laughs> clams, not a good idea to yeah. take them anywhere. No, no, Eat them where you are. We're allergic to seafood anyway, yes. so you don't really care yeah. about I'm that. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But, you know, ever since I picked the beans out of the burrito, she's, she's not getting not any bringing food. She's not bringing food. So I'll never do that again.